Hey everybody, uh, so today we're going to be making a uh, simple eye using a uh, UV texture mapper. Uh, so first, what you want to do here is delete this default cube that we have. Alright, and now we're going to add in a, uh, a UV, uh, UV sphere. Turn it aside, go ahead and smooth it out. You're going to want to shrink it on the Y axis only. So hit S, Y. You'll see it kind of changes more in tune than lips. Yeah, you'll see why we do this here uh, in a second. Yeah, let's make that a little bit bigger. Just to help mess around with it. Now hit Tab to go to Edit Mode. Uh, hit this button here, Edge Select Mode, to select Edges. Select one edge of both sides of the ellipse. Now you hit select edge loop. That'll give you a loop around the outside there. Now we're going to mark that loop as our seam by hitting control E. We'll hit mark seam. You can see how that now turns to a red line, and that is our scene at which the UV mapping will unfold. Go ahead and select all of it. Open up a new window by hit, uh, clicking this little corner part here and dragging it over. You can do the same thing to close it. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Wait, what? Closes it, whatever, just so. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Either way, open up your other window so you have a split screen now. And we're going to go here to the UV image editor. Now that we're here, go ahead and hit view and unwrap. And you'll see you have two circles here. And that's what you want. So now go ahead and do UVS or UV whatever you want to call it. Export UV layout. Save it to the folder that you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop just for this tutorial. And call it IUV. Export the UV layout. Might take a second, might not. Alright, so now that we have that done. First thing you want to do is find your eye texture, which I also have in my desktop here. Open it with whatever program. Paint works just fine. If you have Adobe, uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever, it might work a lot better. But this is what I have. I'm going to go ahead and select it all. Copy it. I'm going to open up my UV layer. Also, the paint, just like I said, this is what I got. Then we're going to paste this on top of it. Try to put it in the middle as much as we can. It doesn't matter which circle you put it on, though. I'll show you why here in a second. Now, let's go ahead and make that a little smaller. Again, in the middle as much as you can. Well, that seems that seems fine right there. Alright, so now we go ahead and save this image. I'm going to save it as a new file just in case I need to come back here and redo something. V2. Alright. Weird. Alright, uh, so now, from here we're going to come and add a new material, call it iris, because that's what we're making here. Add a new material to it, or a, new, a texture to that material. Also call this one iris, which is good to name things properly. Change this from clouds to image or movie. Um, hit open, find wherever you saved it. Like I said, mine saved here in the uh, desktop, uh, UV2. You'll see it looks like this. That's fine. Now we're going to come down here to where the mapping is and the coordinates. Hit change from generated to UV. And let me move my lamp here in front. So you can get 
tell me a better idea of what it actually looks like. And here's what we have so far. Like I said, it didn't matter which circuit we did it on because if it was on the other side, then we can rotate it 180 degrees and you'd have it on the right side. So now that we have that, uh, let's go here. I'm going to set my camera up to be here by hitting Alt, Control, and Zero. And it sets the uh, camera view to be where your view is. I'll just move it back just a little bit. That looks good. All right, now that we're there, we're going to add in another sphere. And this will be the white of the eye. Something a little bit bigger than the other one. Uh, we're back on the Y axis. And you'll notice that we have two here because the iris uh, does protrude a little bit from the eye uh, on an actual eye, so that's why we have two uh, meshes here to do this. Uh, and that seems that seems good enough for the tutorial. Right there, let's move it over a little bit on the edge. Uh, no, All right. Let's go ahead and smooth that out. This one you don't necessarily need to do UV mapping, but you can do the same thing again if you want. Now we're going to add new material, so we can add a new texture to that material. Go in here, find your eye texture that you have. Uh, all these textures I just got off of Google. Uh, simple search eye texture, and this is what you get. Uh, now you want to change this from uh, keep it as generated. I'll change the projection here from flat to sphere. And now we have somewhat of an okay image. What we have here is this. You'll notice we have this pink line down the middle. That's the uh, the pink here that we have on the side. So to fix that, all we have to do uh, is rotate that sphere on the z-axis 180 by hitting R Z and then typing 180 on the left. And uh, I guess that happens for some reason, uh, the wrapping happens from uh, back to front, whatever. But that's what that comes from. You can also move this up just a little bit. That seems good. Uh, now let's add some more lights in so we get better effect of seeing what this actually looks like here. Back in there. And let's uh, put a little down there. Let's Alright, so now, this is what we have. You notice you kind of have that reflection spot. You can take that off by uh, coming in here to material and changing that to specularity to zero. And that'll give you that no reflection. So that's ever how you want to make it. Uh, so that's basically your simple eye. So you can make one last step that I like to add uh, because it is organic material uh, is come down here on the eye whites to the subsurface scattering. And what this is is uh, for instance when light hits skin, uh, skin is in multiple layers so the light will come in, bounce down on one layer and then go down to the next and bounce and then come back up and go down to the next and bounce and come back up. And so it gives you somewhat of that effect. So now uh, just so you can kind of see the differences between that. This is without the subsurface scattering. And I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and set it to uh, think either skim milk or whole milk. Either. Let's try skim milk first. Uh, this is a really good effect if you're using it on skin, but once again, since it's organic and stuff, I can use it on these as well. It's a little bit longer to render, but I think the result is uh, overall. Better. So there's your eyeball now. It's a lot more realistic looking. And once again, to kind of smooth out this edge here, you can uh, subdivide this a little bit more, have a smoother uh, edge, and just kind of play around with it. But you know, the more edges and faces you have, the longer it's going to take to render. But that's about it. Now you have an eye. There you go. And then to kind of keep this together, you can just set this. Uh, let's take the iris person and the white eyes. Hit Control P, and now they're Parenting, so now wherever you move this, the iris goes with it. So you still have the same eye. So you can put it inside your head and have it move around and whatnot. So there you go. There is your eye tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.